Um, and finally, uh, lastly, but wonderfully, uh, we have Teddy Florea from Colombia, I think maybe from Portugal originally or Brazil, but uh, living in Colombia, who's going to talk about soul dreamers, urban stories, and welcome and thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks, everyone. It's a pleasure and honor to be here. Actually, I'm born in Bucharest, Romania. But I've been on the road for 30 years, so I don't know where I am anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do spend half the year in Portugal and half in Colombia. And Colombia for me is one of the places that I really fell in love with through my own personal transformational journey. And this journey has led me to basically create my own tourism programs. Because as I went through the country and through nature, through, through cities, I haven't really used Google or looked for experiences, but I just tried to really follow my own creative touch and my own, let's say, intuition to discover places, to meet people, and to um, gradually discover amazing stories. And the most beautiful stories that I had were always either deep in the jungle, indigenous communities, or in um, vulnerable communities in major cities where life is being lived day by day. Um, how does this work? Just here, yeah. So today I'm going to present um, uh, the um, in a pilot for, for Soul Dreamers, which is starting in January, so we don't have yet data, and also we don't have the marketing tools yet, but we're basically creating them here. So I'm also very happy to learn from experts here uh, that have been presented, because also the, the whole journey also is connected with self-love for myself and for those that I meet, and also with digitalization, which is a new term I'm learning now, and I'm using it as well in the presentation here. So um, Soul Dreamers as the company, what we do is we um, curate um, authentic experiences that are at the interconnection between culture, uh, community stories, and authenticity. And we uh, work both in rural and urban areas. Last year in Athens, I presented the, uh, our first project, which is happening with communities in, uh, in Putumayo in southern Colombia, as well as in uh, other parts of the mountainous regions. And this year, I'm going to present the urban side, which is basically... Um, a journey towards what I call compassionate eco-leadership. And... Okay, so what does compassionate eco-leadership mean, basically? It means it's a journey in which you are connected with self-love, as you mentioned, and also with a deep uh, desire to understand nature, to understand communities, and to basically grow through the interaction of, uh, of behavioral changes there. So, um, as part of the... Uh, presentation, I'm introducing Smart Tourism, which is our uh, new, uh, it's a concept that exists in tourism, but it's based on employing technology, data, and innovation to enhance traveler experiences, destination management, and sustainability, with the goal to boost efficiency, as well as convenience, engagement for all stakeholders, so anything ranging from, from the communities themselves, to the tour operators, to the actual tourist uh, experience. And some of the characteristics are from the aesthetics of the experience to using um, virtual reality or augmented reality as uh, technological add-ons to the actual uh, emotional experience, the user friendliness, the utility, the trust, and the learning uh, as part of it. And through our services, basically we want to empower global communities with uh, AR-powered uh, Echo tours, AR means augmented reality, by the way, for those that don't know, and to create emotionally connective activities and unique stories. Um, so our tours into action basically um, are happening through, um, we're going to work a lot with, um, with platforms, so Airbnb Experiences, TripAdvisor, Civitatis, and we actually are partnering with a company that I met at the Green Destination last year in Athens, which is called AR Trails, they're based in Armenia, and they're providing all the, um, all the uh, technological side for free for our pilots to basically launch the process. The tours that we'll do will have actually three types. So it'll be a physical gamified experience, uh, which is basically on-site. Um, AR-enhanced tours, where we can add the augmented reality to the actual experience, and virtual tours, or what we call the metaverse, in which if someone is far, far away in Alaska and they want to access a community or favela in Rio de Janeiro, and the favela is still semi um, not safe, then we can also use this experience to basically open up tourism in places that may not be available at times, regionally, depending on uh, the uh, context at the given moment. And uh, we're going to use direct booking through popular platforms initially, but also um, the idea is to centralize those experiences into one place, so 
the cultural tourist can really connect with the um, authenticity of, uh, of uh, curated experiences run by us. So what do we do at Soul Dreamer? So first of all, our innovation to uh, tourism is by crafting eco-social tours led by vulnerable communities, infusing them with gamification, with augmented reality and storytelling in a very co-creative element, elevating uh, the empathy within the actual tour, which is basically the emotional investment happening through the gamified community activity. The idea is that whenever there is an AR actual experience that comes through the, uh, the phone, that uh, moment is not taking away from the present moment, but actually reinforces it because it asks you to, to, um, to hear a story, which is usually an emotional story about someone in the community with a specific action to take that will lead to opening a door in this Alice in Wonderland scenario in which you are going to run a co-creative activity with the community, which could be, for example, learning capoeira in 15 minutes or, um, or painting a graffiti wall in, um, with the community so actually co-create something beautiful together. Or it could be having a lunch in a house that opens based on this uh, scenario of, uh, of rabbits and Alice's. And finally, of course, it's about supporting the community with uh, engaging content for impactful marketing. Because if you look at the problems that exist in the community, it's also the idea of like not having access to technology or to marketing tools. So we want to solve all these issues while ensuring that through the um, empathy uh, given activity and the co-creation that we're not just adding another um, poverty voyeurism, which I've seen happening in some parts of uh, where I've traveled in Latin America. So the idea is to really engage the community to be themselves the leaders and in, in, uh, in touch with uh, their own uh, transformational journeys. Um, so we have several steps we do that we take into um, bringing this alight. So first we help uh, define and identify vulnerable communities. So we assist in selecting the vulnerable community. And here we're partnering with a really interesting place uh, in Medellin, Colombia. I don't know how many of you have been to Medellin so far. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Morave is actually in the center of Medellin and has a very beautiful story of trauma and transformation as Colombia has as well because it's a place that was initially inhabited by trash. It was a trash place of the city. It's also located near the botanical gardens and the trash kept growing because people were throwing the trash there. But as the trash grew, population grew as well because during those decades of civil warfare between paramilitary and guerrilla and the government, people had no choice but to actually move away from the coastal areas from the mountains to the cities to escape um, repercussions such as revenge or other types of uh, murders. So the area became very diverse and in time it became a thriving community which is mafia owned, which means that it's actually safe, which is counterintuitive in Latin America in some parts. And in this specific community there are actually a lot of um, eco-social activities and NGOs that work. And the one we partner with, which is uh, legitimized by the eco-leaders, is a project that is about um, making gardens out of trash. So basically it shows how it's transforming this, this uh, element through the involvement of the community, but also as if you take the journey yourself, you can also see this about how you can actually garden your own trash within yourself so you can transform as well. So it's also a learning transformational journey on a personal level. So um, that's one step. Then we also do the, um, um, we define and create local partnerships. So through authenticity, through genuine partnerships with uh, eco-leaders and well-established credible NGOs. And we also elevate the quality with uh, academic research. So our partner is University of Southern Oregon from the Sustainable um, Tourism Department, which will assess the actual impact of the um, pre and post experience for both tourists and the community. Um, we also bring our unique methodology by uh, using a user-friendly online offline app. Um, we also foster empathy through gamified connection building. And we also help the community select the content through uh, the narratives that we curate as well as having a real authenticity chosen by the community. This is a photo from a favela in Brazil in Rocinha, which is a really interesting uh, uh, element. I don't know what happened there before, but uh, we can find out if we go there. So, um, and then step five, we support the community with their projects. So we offer AR enhancements, gamified trails, marketing and sales support, and um, expanding visibility on multiple platforms. The impact is uh, clear, it's about social transformation, it's about opening up uh, 
places that um, initially were seen as uh, outcasted to the world and creating a less blurred distinction between what is accepted, what is not in society. Uh, we also offer more than half the profits to the community, depending on how we can make the deals with the um, platforms, Airbnb and the others, depending if they actually take profits or not from this. Hopefully not. And then we measure the impact um, through testimonials and through the methodology run by the university. Um, so, to summarize, um, we're basically a platform-driven tourism. We're going to centralize demand into one place. The idea is to really connect those that are looking for those experiences with uh, really curated projects that show social transformation, um, emphasis on sustainable tourism, and personal uh, stories of, uh, of grief and, uh, and upheaval from that. Um, also looking at economic uplifting uh, with new local sustainable revenue avenues and a social evolution bringing to light overlook regions bridging social divides. So uh, thank you very much. And um, as last year I've managed to find some partners here, I'm looking forward to discussions over beers tonight and I can share some of these beautiful, crazy stories as well. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. Very interesting and very current. So I'm sure we're gonna all be I just want to make the, the, uh, my only award that I'm going to give tonight, um, today, um, is a well-deserved award to Marcus for the best shoes at the conference. So thank you for displaying those to me while I was talking today. Mm -hmm.